Never fold. The final thought that spurs me on. The crowd begins to thicken. I'm desperately searching for help. My hands tired, but there's no giving up. Showing weakness is not an option. My reputation is on the line. From the year nine, who started out fresh to the most vivica dude in the year level. I worked hard for this reputation. This begins to seem like a nightmare. Multiple rounds are fired, one blow after another. My confidence increases as I see him fall back. My reputation lives to see another day. My parents get a call. I'm in the principal's office now. I'm shitting my pants, but then I remember. Never, never fold. fold. Don't cry. Mask your fear. Your reputation is on the line. A hiding, a warning. I'm back in class in three days. My reputation lives to see another day. Never, never fold, fold, they say. I'll, I'll fight, fight for, for reputation. reputation. Maybe that's the curse of a boys' school. Your manhood is marked by your fist. But is this really me? Is this the second out of the same siblings that my parents raised? Is this the product of my parents' sacrifice? Is this the son of the new pastor? 15-year-old Solomon Netaufil Lungaki was stabbed to death in front of a shopping center on Tuesday night. The teenager died after a brawl of up to 10 people near the Brimback Shopping Center in Thea Park in Melbourne's West. Six boys aged between 13 and 16 face the children's court, child of violent disorder, and are free. No parent should ever bury their son, raising up a young man full of hopes and dreams, only to see him lying in a box, mourning and crying, but that doesn't make a difference. Hugs and kisses to the skies, wishing that they would have saved him. But, but now it's too late. 17 year old Lorenzo Vale was stabbed to death in front of Maggie Town Center on Friday night. The teenager died after a pro of up to 10 people near KFC in the South Auckland suburb. Six boys aged between 15 and 17 faced the children's court, child of violence disorder and manslaughter. I've been making dumb decisions, forgetting about the consequences, forgetting about my parents' faces. But it's time to change. It's time to change. Never fold. The final thought that spurs me on. The pressure begins to thicken. I'm desperately searching for help. My hands tighten around my pen, but there's no giving up. Showing weakness is not an option. My dreams are on the line. From the year nine, you started off fresh to that scholar dude in year 12. I worked hard for this future. This begins to seem like a nightmare. Multiple tasks completed, one assessment after another. But my confidence increases as I see the grades come back. My dreams live to see another day. My parents get a call. One down PC hall now. I'm standing up on stage, but then I remember. Never, never fold. fold. Your future is on the line. An award. Parents crying, lolly lays galore. My dreams love to see another day. 16 year old Pauli Vatimani Sela from Tila South College, who was once heading down a path of destruction and rage, turned his life around and five years on, graduated with a bachelor's degree in engineering. His family is so incredibly proud of him. Ladies and gentlemen, that's proof that any kid from South Auckland can make it if you'll fight with his pen and not his fist. It's time to change. It's time to change. It's, it's time, time to change. change.